Hi students, it's time to do dissection. Before you start, don't forget to read the safety instructions carefully, one more time. I will explain to you step by step the way you have to do it and the way you have to submit the whole assignment. The first thing to do is make the labels to identify the mink muscles. You need the following materials. Index cards, toothpicks, scissors, a pen, and tape. Write down the name of each muscle from the worksheet on a label. Cut a piece of tape and place it on the back of your label with a toothpick as seen on the video. Make sure the name of the muscle is legible. You will do the same with each muscle to identify. When your labels are ready, it's time to start. You need disposable gloves, an apron, in an open space. You need a flat surface, some paper towels, and a trash bag, or a piece of plastic. Then you can place a dissection tray. It is time to take the mink out of the bag. Use the scissors in your kit to cut only one side of the bag. You will need to keep the fluid in the bag. This fluid stinks. That is the reason to do dissection in an open space and not in a closed space. Now, take the mink out of the bag and place it in the dissection tray. Remember, save the fluid inside of the bag. Do not throw it away because it preserves the organic tissue of the animal. You will need a plastic bag to keep your mink for upcoming dissections. Please keep the rubber band to tie the bag. Let's prepare the mink for dissection. We're going to identify muscles on the anterior view. Most of the muscles look clean. However, we have to remove some fat and connective tissue of other muscles. Please use the forceps to remove adipose and connective tissue in order to uncover muscles. You could use scissors or the scalpel to cut fat and connective tissue as seen on the video. Please be careful not to do deep cuts. I am cutting some fat and connective tissue in order to uncover muscles and do identification. All your labels should be ready to place them on the right muscle. You're going to identify superficial muscles on the anterior view of the mink. Make sure you make a photocopy of the muscles you're going to identify. The mink's muscles look clean after removing some adipose and connective tissue. Let's begin placing the pecto antirachialis label on the correct muscle. Just try to do your best. Pecto antibrachialis, pecto antibrachialis muscle. Let's continue with pectoralis major. See, pay attention, pectoralis major muscle. Next is identification of the pectoralis minor muscle. So let's place the label on the pectoralis minor. Next is the external oblique muscle. Let's place it on the right muscle. External oblique. Let's continue with the hyphae humeralis muscle. Hyphae humeralis. Keep trying. Good job. You're doing a nice job. Next is the gracilis muscle. Just try to do your best. Don't stress out too much. Let's place it on the right muscle. Gracilis. Next is the sartorius muscle. Look at the photocopy to get a better idea to the correct muscle location. Please be careful not to hurt yourself. If the took piece break, get another one. Now, 
let's place the gastrocnemius or calf muscle. Gastrocnemius or calf muscle. Look at the gastrocnemius. There's no adipose or connective tissue on top. You could use the teasing or dissection needle to do a small incision and place a label in the muscle. Next muscle is the tibialis anterior. Use a cut muscle photocopy as a guide to locate your labels. Good job, keep trying. Great job, you're done with the anterior view of the mink. Please take four to five pictures of different angles so I can see how you did the superficial muscle identification. Now it's time to identify muscles on the posterior side. My suggestion is to cut the mink tail so it does not interfere when you're placing the labels. Please be careful. It is an extension of the vertebral column, so it could be hard to cut it. If there is adipose and connective tissue covering muscles, please remove them with a forceps and scapel. Please be careful. I am removing excess of fat or adipose tissue. Remember, be careful. The scapel blade is sharp. Just be careful not to make a deep cut into the muscle because later will be difficult to identify it. The way to dispose tissue is the following. Put it in a plastic bag. Then apply some Lysol. Seal the plastic bag. Put it in another bag. Tie the bag and dispose it into a trash can. Now it is time to identify the posterior muscles of the mink. Use the cat muscle photocopy as reference. Most of the muscles are visible and ready to be identified. Let's begin with the clavotrapecius muscle. Try to be as careful and accurate as possible. You're learning. Don't stress out and enjoy the process. Now, the clavodeltoid. Look at the illustration and place a label on the muscle. You could use a dissection needle to do some incisions to place the label. Next muscle is the levator scapula ventralis, whose primary function is to lift the scapula. Next, the spinotrapecius muscle, acromiotrapecius, latissimus dorsi, external oblique, glorious muscle, biceps femoris. Pay attention to the illustration and try to do your best. Have fun! Enjoy the activity. Semitendinosus, gastrocnemius or calf muscle, lumbodorsal fascia, sartorius, spinodeltoid, tensor fascia lati. Great job! You're done! You have identified the superficial and posterior muscles of the mink. Please take four to five pictures of different angles. When you take pictures, please include a piece of paper with your name, date, and student ID. When you're done, it's time to clean up. Apply some Lysol all over the animal muscles on the anterior and posterior sides. Please do not remove the sponge in the mouth cavity. The purpose is to prevent you hurt yourself with the animal teeth. It is time to keep your mink in the plastic bag where you save the animal fluid. Put the animal inside the bag. Seal the bag with a rubber band. The purpose is to prevent the fluid from leaking. Get another plastic bag to keep the animal and use another rubber band to seal the bag. My suggestion is to get a trash bag to make sure there is no fluid leaking. Now, keep the mink in the box. Wash the dissection tray and tools with water and soap. Please be careful not to cut or harm yourself. Dry the dissection tools and put them in the protection case. Keep the case in the box. Dry the dissection tray as well and keep it in the box. 
Seal the box with some tape. Keep the box outside your house or apartment in a dry and cool area. You will continue doing the dissection during that semester. We are done for today's mass identification activity. Great job! These are some pictures I took to show you different angles of the animal muscle identification. You have to submit four to five pictures of the anterior and posterior muscles. Finally, take a picture of yourself holding the mink.